Right, G4S have just been. They've uh, turned up in a big armored truck and delivered this bag of, uh, <laughs> of 50 Ps, 250 pounds, I hope. Um, there isn't anything else on it, really. Uh, Sab, or Seb, from, I don't know, whatever that is. Whatever these barcodes mean, I don't know. But it does say five of six there. So if there's anything really amazing in here, I'll have to go back to my bank and track down the other five bags. <laughs> That'd be cool. I should have asked, said, have you got all six of these bags? I'll have them all. Anyway, let's get into this. Cross fingers, hope for something good. Yay. I actually want to cut this bag quite high. Where's the, that's the stickiness there. Did I see Darren, Caledonian Coins, he, he just pulled this once and it all just come undone quite easily without using scissors. I just fancy keeping the bigger bag. A bit, sometimes when you have 10 peas, they don't always fit back in the bag that they came with weirdly so if i can try and faff about for a minute it's always worth having a bigger bag it's even got a uh, handle at the top as well so can I? there we go i think that did it oh that's like foil all right does that open it or is it just gunk oh yeah 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 there we go. There we go. I guess I can try and fold that back on itself. Try to not get the gunk on anything else. Yeah, that'll do, that'll work. There we go. Nice. Oh, lots of shiny stuff. Old bag, all look pretty shiny. You can see that from there, but oh, okay. So yeah, um, I'll give this a quick count and we'll crack on. One, two, three. Twenty-three, twenty-four, and this will be twenty-five. Can't see anything in that at the moment. But uh, you never know, hopefully. Always nice to start a hunt with a, a couple of commemoratives and I've seen at least one. There's at least one. I hate starting a hunt with a bus bag. It's normally those hunts, if you start with a bus bag, you actually get quite a good late finish, I think, I, it feels like. But I, I prefer to start with um, a good start rather than a good finish, <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, a nice shiny uh, shield on top. I'm assuming that's a 2019. There we go. 125 million of those in circulation. So the shields that make up the, or the 50p makes up part of the shield design. We're looking for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, maybe 2020 and maybe 2021. They're all possibly NIFC coins, which is not intended for circulation. But the 2019s, as shiny as they are, just go back to the bank. And then Britannia's, we're looking for the years 2008 because that is a low mintage year. Sorry, the Shields, we're also looking for the year 2017 because that's a low mintage year and they're quite cool coins. There's the Scouts. There's some sort of rumbling going on next door. That's the only problem being in a, a cabin at the bottom of the garden. There's lots of noises. It's not very soundproofed. So apologies for the rumbling. No idea what that is. Well, apart from the scouts, a bust bag. Next bag. Cracking on.
There we go, it's the coin I love to hate. That is the dictionaries. That one is a bit grubby. No, not nice. Never mind. There we go. Oh, just get you in. There we go. That's a nice shiny Britannia. Shiny ish. 2006. I was hoping that would be a 2008. 19s, 19s. Yep. I guess you've got to check the shields because if you find a shiny shield, you've got to double check it because it could be a 2020 shield. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Or a 21 shield. So you can't just assume shiny shield. Oh, that's a 19. Move on. Move on quick. Uh. Hey, Christopher Ironside. That's one that Christopher Collects is not going to get his hands on. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to keep it, so it could end up with Christopher Collects in one of his boxes. Oh, dropping the coins. I don't know why he keeps all his uh, Christopher Ironsides, I don't know. I know it's his namesake, but... Right. Oh! Oh, it's a 2012 shield. For a split second, I thought that was, you know, one of the ones we were looking for, but no. 2012, but we do have a Towers of Peter Rabbit, 2017. There we go, put him down there. Oh. I do find that earlier in the morning, I, do, I have less hand control. 15 shield. Oh, Paddington. Paddington at the cathedral. Yay. There we go. Put him over there to the right. Can move these up a bit more, I think. Oh, and there is Paddington. Paddington at the tower. There we go. Nice one. That is a very nice one as well. I think I've got another boot sale coming up. I think I've got to do one. I think I promised my sister that I'd do a boot sale with her. I think. Mm. Um, and I'm going to do, I'm going to sell some coins. But I'm also going to do a 50p coin swap, so anybody can come up and just literally swap 50p. So there'll be the more common 50ps, but not everyone's got them. Not everybody's got a Paddington at the tower. So I'm going to hang on to the some of these coins that I find today and take them to the boots out. And just like I say, do a 50p coin swap. So you can give me 50p and swap a coin, or you can give me a pound and swap two coins, or whatever you want to do. As long as it's a straight swap, monetary value, straight swap, it's all good. Oh, there's a nice one. I haven't seen that one in a long while. Oh, a couple there. There we go. So we got a, uh, well, uh, this happened to me last time I found uh, a, yeah, a Benjamin Britten. And the last time I found a Benjamin Britten, I pretty much remember I found a Benjamin Bunny in the same bag or back to back. Strange, isn't it? All these Benjamins sticking together. That is slightly above uh, face value, by the way, but not by much and not a big fan. It's a bit too, too complicated, that one, but... Anyway, Benjamin Bunny goes next to his mate from 2017. Oh look, two more there. We got the Victoria Cross, the Heroic Heroic Act. There we go. Pulled out that. And then a uh, um, the representation of the People's Act. Here we go. Oh, 
We've got a Sherlock there. Cool find. I watched a video the other day and, and they found a Sherlock Holmes, but it was immaculate. And they, I don't know, it was just too nice. They didn't say anything. They didn't think it was anything special. They just went, you know, they just said, oh, Sherlock, there we go, moved on. But it was so nice and it didn't have any scratches. And the, the silhouette of Sherlock in the middle always has scratches, always. It's just, it just, because it's raised, so it's the height of the, the edges and it just gets scratched. I've never found a Sherlock without a scratch in the center of his, uh, of his shadow. I think even the bunk ones, they seem to be a mess. Anyway, but this one, it was so nice. I was a bit, I was a bit, I was a, mm, have you just planted that in your hunt? I don't know. Anyway, um, 2017, so it's either a potter or a shield. It's another Tales of Peter Rabbit. There we go, it's quite a nice one though. Shiny one. Hey, girl guides. That's cool. A bit, um, yeah, nothing amazing so far, but we'll keep hunting, we'll keep trying. Finally, something decent. There we go. Basketball. Very nice. Oh, cool. That's special. Finding an Olympic is always special. Oh my God. They're getting harder and harder to find. More and more of them are being taken out of circulation. Plenty of Paddington at the cathedral still out there, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, um, Olympics, oh. Oh, and a tower in the same bag. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you wanna, oh. I was thinking about putting a full set of Olympics on eBay. Recently found some more, or I found another football. So I think I've got enough spares to make up a complete set. Or am I missing pentathlon and triathlon maybe? Anyway, I was thinking about putting a full set of uh, uh, Olympics on eBay. Um, or should I just keep hold of them? Because they are just gonna get, soon they're just gonna be, you just won't be able to get them at all. I reckon, or Change Checker thinks that there's at least 70% of them have been taken out of circulation. There weren't that many to start with. So, yeah. Oh, another cathedral. Oh, we got another Olympic. Sort of, but sort of not. Team GB. There we go, 2016 for the uh, Rio Olympics. Cool. I really should keep a nice one of those in my new Change Checker album, the Sports Edition. Uh, me and some friends did a coin hunt a few weeks back. And we were just looking for Olympics, or we were looking for other things, but we were scoring any Olympic finds. And uh, it was quite a fun hunt, actually. It was uh, one of the best ones in a, in a little while. So I'll put a link to that in the description or on the end card. You can go and check that out. Another dictionary. There we go, another dictionary.
that says 2001 and for a split second I thought that was an 11 <laughs> so I was, I was thinking it could have been a, uh, um, a shield from 2011 and NIFC that would be amazing but it wasn't but oh, equally amazing is a WWF the worldwide fund there we go cool one yay very special keeping those always keep those I know they're over face value not particularly high but um, they are over face value and I, I like them I, I'm gonna keep them uh, that one there no date on that side with the Queen so that's got to be something special isn't it it can't be a shield I wonder what that is oh it's about the Hastings of course 2016 there we go cool one again that one's slightly over face value I'm not sure why always has been Okay, on to the last bag. I'm so happy we found the Olympic. I'm chuffed we found the uh, WWF. Uh, there is this last chance to find something glorious, uh, but probably not. <laughs> Might be more cathedrals in this uh, bag. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Paddington at St. Paul's and three towers. But we don't really care about that competition anymore, do we? We've moved on from that. Britannia's and shields to start off with. Are we gonna finish on a bust bag? That's that's no fun, is it? Yeah, looks like. Yeah, bust bag to finish. Never mind. We've got a couple of decent coins there. We've got a few decent coins really there, it's quite good. Been ages since I've seen a, a Benjamin Britten and a Hastings as well. It's been ages since I've had so many cathedrals in a stack. I think this is an old bag. I think this bag has been sitting around for a while. There's no Brexits, no diversities. I think this has been hiding somewhere right deep at the back of a bank vault for a, a year or so plus when we were getting all these um, cathedrals and only a few towers. Yeah, I think this has been in storage somewhere for a long time. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Good result. I don't normally get the bank bags or rolly over bags, whatever you want to call them. So when I picked this one up, I was actually, yeah, okay. It changed things up a little bit, you know, try something new. <laughs> a bit different from my usual sealed bags. So it's been fun. It's been a pleasure to go through these. And uh, thanks for watching as well, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me for this uh, half an hour or so, or whatever it's been. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, think about subscribing if you're not already so. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, love it. Uh, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another episode. But really, that's it. So until the next video, just keep looking out for those coins to collect.